Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for the 14th of August 2020 and it is for the sign of Sagittarius. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever feels good with you, whatever resonates with you, and just leave the rest aside. If you feel as though it doesn't fit then it most likely does not correspond for you for today. However, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you're searching for answers, you're searching for guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com or you can go right here below in the YouTube drop box and you will find all the information you need. You'll find the different types of readings that I offer, the price list and how to go upon booking one. Also, if you do enjoy my channel and you do um, enjoy my videos and my messages and you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Show your support, show your encouragement by subscribing. So that being said, I thank you so very much and let's begin this reading. What we're looking to find here is what's going on. What's blocking union? Why are you feeling stagnant? Why are you feeling like there's something wrong in this relationship? Let's go see what we can find as an information. I have the seven of leaves. Four of Leaves, Ten of Bells, and I have the Two Hearts. We're going to begin with this one here, Seven of Leaves. The Seven of Leaves here is the main, one of the main problems that I do see in this relationship right away is that I feel as though there's a lot of indecision into this relationship. I feel as though perhaps... Um, this is really about, I'd have to say, almost some negotiations a little bit. It's its always trying to wonder what we're going to do. Or is it going to go my way? Is it going to go your way? I feel as though, yes, there are some challenges. There are some fights because I do see them over here with the four of leaves, okay? The four of leaves here is really trying to tell me that, you know what? This is a card of, of retreat. It's loneliness and it's shelter, okay? So you're kind of sheltering yourself like the hermit there. And there are people around you and they do want to talk with you, right? And, you know, but you're kind of staying in that little bubble. But this thing being that said, same thing is happening to your partner. I feel as though this is actually your partner and they are like in their little nest there and they're not very happy. They're, they're, it's coming from a struggle. It's coming from a fight that you had. And I feel as though... They just kind of stay like that, kind of closed up, and you try to go see them. You try, you try, you try to talk to them. You try and figure things out. You try and put things straight, but they're still there, kind of, you know, sulking away, trying not to, you know, they don't, they're really just upset, and they don't really want to agree to anything, is what's going on, and this is coming um, because of this situation, because of these arguments, because of these uh, these struggles and these these problems that really are bound to happen sooner or later. They're bound to come back, these challenges. This is really about uh, sometimes, you know, we choose to disengage from a, from a bad relationship because things, you know, are not going all that well right now. So this, I feel, is really a moment, this reading here, I feel is really all about indecision. It's indecision about what to do about the relationship. Um, I feel as though there are quite a bit of struggles, some challenges, and I feel as though one partner more than the other is... Um, is really right now trying to figure out what they want out of this relationship. And this is why this relationship is blocked, it is stagnant. There's a lot of indecision about the future of this relationship, where it's going, because of its struggles, because of its challenges. Um, I do have the uh, 10 over here of bells, and the 10 of bells is is really about usually this is this is about a relationship this is about a relationship that um that goes well this is what you want to have this is what you 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 this is what you've always wanted to have you want to have the nice relationship where you know you're the perfect match and everything just has a nice strong bond um so this is really about the wishes and it's about the wishes that just aren't being met right now uh things aren't going exceedingly well not as much as you would like it to and so this is really about what this card is just depicting here is really about the situation at hand right now and this card here is really trying to tell me that at, at the basics of everything I mean your relationship if you take away the challenges and the struggles that you're having right now the beginning of the relationship really went quite well um, you know there was uh, it felt like true love there was deep commitment it was stable you know it would be everything that somebody would really hope to in a relationship but then something kind of happened here and and I don't know what what happened if it was a um, um, a lot of events one after the other that were following themselves or if it was one striking event but I feel as though you know as I said there's that indecisiveness that came in that because of the struggles and 
I think if you um, you work on that communication and you work on trying to figure out exactly how to get your partner to get out of that situation where he's sulking like that, okay? If you're able to figure out what is going on and how their thought process is and what exactly they want out of the relationship and how they want to deal with the things, I think if you're able to juggle, juggle um, both aspects and to find a nice balance, I think the relationship could be quite fine because I, the relationship does have a really good basic beginning and it, there really is some love there. It's just that there's a lot of anger and there's a lot of frustration and you need to plow through that. You need to get all those gray clouds out. You need to settle it, put it in the past, put that that bad energy into the past and bring out the fourth bring out the good because your relationship does have a good possible outcome but you need to really resolve this right here okay so this is all about indecision but the indecision is coming from the challenges from the uh, from the um the fights that you have all the time so you really do need to find out the core of the fights and then you know you'll be on goal so that being said, if you do have any uh, questions, you're wanting some guidance in your relationships, please do contact me at romanceviltarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for some follow-up readings. So have a great day and many blessings to you.